there are some deleted scenes, storylines, and ideas that could have made both series better or worse. Coming in at number 10 is a very early interaction between Korra and Asami. And after watching this clip, it has you wondering why this was even deleted in the first place. We see Asami come in, she gives gifts to Bolin and Korra, and then goes up to Korra specifically, and she has a small conversation about how they should spend more quality time together. I brought some care packages for each of you. That's a good luck wish for the tournament. Wow, thanks! I loaded this full of all my favorite top-of-the-line skin creams and hair products. Thanks. I hope the two of us can spend some quality girl time together soon. Mmm, can't wait. Thank you for everything, Asami. The Fire Ferrets owe our place in the tournament to you. <clears throat> Isn't there someone else you should thank? Oh, I'm sorry. And your father. And right there in that scene, as I just showed you, it's not separate from the main series. It's the same scene that we finally got. It's just a piece of it was cut. And watching that, I always did feel like it was just a tad bit rushed. Coming in at number nine, and it's probably one of the worst ones on this list, if it ever did happen, because it has to do with Iroh. And according to the creators, he originally wasn't going to be the kind, tea-loving uncle we all know, but instead a strict military guy training Zuko. And it was even planned for Zuko to be betrayed by him. Thankfully, though, Aaron Ehas was able to write Iroh in the way that fans grew to love him. Next up on the list is number 8, which involves the plan for the Avatar origin story. In the art of the animated series book, it was actually discussed that the Avatar spirit would have been the spirit of the earth in human form, rather than just being the light spirit Rava. Now, I personally prefer this idea and wish this was the case, because obviously Aang and all the Avatars have to bring balance to the four nations on earth, so it makes the most sense to me. Coming in at number 7, which which kind of connects to 10. This has been talked about so much in the Avatar community, but it's the fact that Asami was originally going to be a villain, and she would have been a spy to get information on the Avatar. Her crashing into Mako was planned, and being extra nice, like the clip I showed a minute ago, wasn't genuine, but just to gain trust. Obviously, me and everybody out there, even the creators, like Asami, and that's why they never went through with this plan. Coming in at number 6, I want you to remember the episode The Runaway. Obviously, in this episode, we saw Hockey, that bird or a version of that bird originally would have had a bigger role than we ended up getting. It was going to be Zuko's pet bird and this was seen in the original unaired pilot. Later though, this was ditched and it's implied that Hockey in that one episode was just kind of the creators bringing it back as a funny nod. Coming in at number 5, this next one is extremely disturbing. In season 2 episode 19, when Aang was unlocking his chakra points to deal with his past, we see a scene with Aang and Gyatso on a sky bison. They're flying around the air temple and on the bison saddle there's cakes which Aang and Gyatso airbend to hit the class below and it's a nice very positive upbeat scene until the next scene. All of a sudden Gyatso is just a skeleton and this is when Aang looks up in a moment that entire scene just blows away. This moment pulls similar elements from episode 3 but the way it's handled is much more dark than what a younger viewer could have handled which is why it likely got cut. Coming in at number 4 this is when the creators were planning the series and one of the earliest ideas was to have have Aang from over a thousand years in the past, but this civilization was going to be technologically advanced. His staff and clothes would have looked futuristic, we would have seen Momo as a robot sidekick, and this series would have been overall a sci-fi series. Present day when Aang wakes up would probably look mostly the same to what we got. Number 3 is probably the most minor on this list, and it involves a small scene with Sokka. Originally during the headband episode, we would have heard this track in the episode called Scarf Dance, and we would have seen Sokka dancing to it. Sadly, this scene never got added, but we do have the track online, and it's too good to have not been in the episode, so I'm very shocked about that. Coming in at number 2 is Azula. This would have given her a completely different arc in Season 3. Ozai would have had her in an arranged marriage. I could have seen this happening right after the invasion since nothing major happens with Azula. It's more Zuko focused, at least until the Boiling Rock. And obviously the finale, she has a big part to play. I feel like there would have been room to put that in there. I feel like there would have been extra tension from Ozai because of this marriage and also the fact that he didn't allow her to go with him to conquer the Earth Kingdom. This would have put her so much closer to a potential redemption arc. Coming in at number one, this was during the Legend of Korra season four, and this episode was 100% going to happen. This episode involved Kuvira and her entire backstory, which is kind of needed when you want to understand why she thinks the way she does, why she's doing what she's doing, and Nickelodeon cut the budget completely. So the only way to make this work, to have the same amount of episodes, was to have remembrances. And that was originally going to be the Kuvira flashback episode. And I know this all sounds horrible, but there is a slight happy end 
ending with this. In the core comics, we did get to see a good portion of this story play out, and even a redemption arc for Kuvira, so at least the story completed there. But which deleted story or scene is your favorite? Let's discuss this in the comments.